Very cool. So take a look. So my frame copy node, it's with equal spacing, and this is Boolean. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, frame copy node. Um, yeah, I connected only one because I didn't have time to, to create all input parameters. But by default, with equal spacing has a value true. But if you turn it to false, right? So then you are able to, to define your varying spacing. So defining a list of those spaces, spacings. Yeah, so it's it's doable, and you can also you know flip it, because this that was my you know uh, initially you know st starting you know two D frame, but I could you know um, copy it in the other direction, right? In the opposite direction, simply you know flipping it. So, so uh, you can do it. It's a matter of you know anything. You you can do it. You if something is not available, you know, uh, in the in the package, you can always you know add your additional extra custom node and make it possible. It's not as you know difficult as as you could imagine. <laughs> Yeah, there is. Uh, for, for a note like this, once you create the structure and say a week passed and the structure gets suspended or something like that, do you, do you have to delete the structure or can you just open up the script again and it's attached to the element that can be added? Um, uh, not, not, not sure if I got your question the right way. So you're saying, so if, if I have if I define some structures with some input parameters, specific, right? If I save my script, if I have those parameters preserved, or this one? Uh, so, you know, if you go on modify it later, you want to add two more babies like the month from now, how would you do that? Would you have to delete the frame and make a new one with two more babies or the input? Oh, so take a look. So the, the, the initial, yeah, the first, this is insertion point. So I would add additional node, right? For, so take a look. And this is width 15. So I would need to point by coordinates and my insertion point would be Okay, 15. Is this what you're asking for? He's, he's asking if you run this, you close Revit. Yeah. And you reopen it, you need to adjust the geometry. Adjusting is not possible. Regeneration. Yeah, sorry for explaining. Yeah, so you, uh, because this script, it doesn't retrieve the existing model data, you need to regenerate it. So that's why before you actually generate something in Revit, you look at this in Dynamo environment. So you, when, when you have this automatic mode, you can, you can, you know, play with parameters, see, you know, instantly, you know, uh, all those changes. Once you're good with this, with your basic, you know, structural design, then you may um, active that part of the script that generates model in Revit. This is what I would uh, actually suggest. Let's have the portion of the script that would generate this model in Revit, but let's keep that froze, frozen as long as you are not good with the dynamo geometry because it would it would it could kill your rabbit even so if you attended um, dynamo slam yesterday you could saw what can happen 